Hi guys, alright, I am being pounded with emails for a tutorial for the Beatles yesterday. This is my favourite Beatles tune ever, I love this song. Um, so I'll do my best. I'll, I won't be able to show you every single pluck uh, for this song because it'll just take too long, so I'll just do my best to show you the bits that you really need and hopefully you can improvise a bit from there. So this song, if you want to play along with the record, the whole thing is tuned down um, a step. So Paul plays it in G, but it actually sounds like it's in F. But um, because you know you probably have your guitar in standard tuning now, I have mine in standard tuning. We'll just do it in G. It makes it harder to sing because you're singing it higher than you ordinarily would. But um, we'll manage. Okay, let's do. There's only really two. Well, I always say this, but there's, there's a two chunks you got to learn. The verse bit um, yesterday. It's uh, once you got it once you play it two times in a row, and then you've just got that little bit. Why she had to go? So there's that, those two bits really. Okay, let's make a G. Now the strum is more or less just a pluck of the bass and then a three sort of down strokes. Pluck down, 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 pluck down, down, down. It's more or less just that the whole way through. Yesterday. Okay, I'm doing a four finger G here as well. In the intro, but please yourself if you just want to play it like that. Right, next chord, then just play a, when you're coming out of the G, just open the E, pluck the open E, then just bar entirely across the second fret. That's it. Now, you'll see a lot of people doing F sharp minors there. It's really not necessary. You can just bar across the whole um, second fret, play the bass, because you're only really going to strum the top notes there. It makes it a lot easier. So. Straight across the second fret, back from B7, pluck the fifth string, right? then E minor, plucking the sixth string. Right? Then on the fourth string of the E minor, pluck, strum, release the fourth to the E minor 7, pluck, strum, and back via C and pluck the fifth. Right? So where we are so far is. All my troubles seem so far away. Now it okay, next chord I think is the D7. You could play a D, but I think it's D7. D7 is certainly easier because the C to D7 transition is simple. You can leave your first finger there. So pluck the fourth, down, 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 and back to your G. On the E string now, you're going to run down from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret. So, one strum in between to the E minor. We'll make an A minor 7, pluck the 5th. And what I like to do here on the C to the G part, I pluck the... I Grab the fifth string with my thumb and the first and second strings with my fingers and just pluck back for a four finger G. Grab the the sixth string and the first two strings. Two plucks. Yes. Then three strums after there. So. And that's the verse. Okay, and then you do it all again. For the next verse, I'll do it slowly. should point out, this is just my rendition as well, I'm not making any claims that this is how exactly how Paul McCartney plays it, it's probably not, in fact I know it's not, but it's um, just the way that I've learnt to play it over the years and how I always do it now, so, okay, that said. Right, now into the next part. same bar across the 2nd fret, 
grab the sixth, strum, strum, strum. Back to the B7 again, grab the fifth, strum, strum, strum. So what I do there is strum an E minor to do a D. What I do here, and I know it's not right, but it sounds okay and it makes it easier for the next transition, is to make a C add 9 and then also play the, the E on the third string, on the, the first string on the third fret. So pluck and just do that, grab the fifth and pluck the first and second. Then just slide the formation down one fret. So, and then release the E string, the first string altogether. Alright, so you get. Next one is an A minor, but then that E string again on the second fret. So it's basically open, open, three, uh, two, two, one, two. So um, A minor six, I think it might be called. Then release it to an ordinary A minor. Back for a D sus two. So you're leaving that top E open. That's why you're leaving it open. Then a, a, a three finger E I do here because that second string I think should be open here. Then you can bring it back on if you like. Mix it around. So let's just do that part again slowly. can do on the second string is go before you come back into the verse again so that's third first open yesterday that was such an easy So grab the third string. Just sounds nice. That's a tip. Right, and then right at the end, um, whereas. Then worry about the top two strings. Then come down to the second string on the second fret. Third string on the second fret. And hammer back onto the third fret. Just sort of pluck. That is quite hard to do that. It takes a little while to get the hang of it, but you can clearly hear that's what Paul does in the song. Anyway, um, I'm probably running out of time on this video, so that should hopefully be enough to get you started on the basics of yesterday. And if I do say so myself, that is one of the finest songs ever written. I love it. See ya.